Good evening, everyone. Hope I'm audible to everyone. Please raise your hands if I'm audible. I hope Kabir is also there. Kabir, a very warm welcome. Can you switch on your video, please? Yes. Yes, sir. Good, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, Kabir. So, uh, firstly, congratulations on ISI. Thank and, you, sir. Uh, you know, it's been a journey from English honors to M. MSQE. That is so, so unique. So I wanted, uh, you know, all the students to uh, hear uh, from you. How did you uh, decide after an English honors to do a master's in economics at the end of the day? So, so it was uh, can you share how uh, you got, uh, you know, inspired into the economics so, as a field? Uh, being very frank with all of you, it's just that uh, I wasn't able to get a good, like, one of the best colleges in DU for uh, economics course. So I thought of taking uh, up in, uh, English honors. And but then I realized that no, I should you know, for further studies, I should go in economics. So that is how I thought ke, I should prepare for uh, economics entrance. Wow. So it's, uh, you know, truly inspirational that, uh, you know, not having a mathematical uh, you know background in terms of your uh, college uh, not even you know economics how did you you know prepare uh, so much in the mathematics uh, domain and uh, you know economics how did you uh, do it, it uh, you know so i want to like, uh, hear it myself uh, for that uh, like i can say that in our first and second years i had uh, like the optional paper ge paper uh, as economics that was there but like it wasn't okay the syllabus was not for the econ uh, economics entrance part like the mathematical oriented it was not some like that but still like i was sometimes i would do some few chapters here and there but it was like very much uh, like directionless but after joining a coaching I think that all those videos, those structured way, and then I was able to like uh, sit through. And uh, moreover, I was not able to crack it in my first just uh, attempt. I graduated in 2021, but I thought, Ki, let's give it another shot. So, yeah. Oh, that's great. That is great. So, uh, 2021, uh, you prepared on your own and you sat for these entrance examinations. And, uh, you know, after that, uh, you took, uh, you know, coaching and then uh, you gave these entrance examinations again. So what, uh, you know, kept you motivated in the gap for year that you had? Like, uh, you know, keeping up that the I motivation just want to, is also uh, a challenge. Nothing such, such, such sort of thing. It was just that I just want to do uh like i just wanted to like get into isa that's it that was only my motivation I <laughs> so only one a goal uh, that was actually isa getting into yeah. isa that was yes. the goal right yes. and yes. that you know it was yes. yeah so you know having a goal and a dream mm. is the first thing uh, that is important in this uh, journey, right? So, hold on. I'm getting many questions on uh, YouTube. Students are uh, posting. So, let's see what they want to hear. Okay. So, a student is asking that, is it uh, difficult for a non-economics uh, background a student to make it to ISI? And how do you prepare for that? Can you give a few yeah. tips how... Uh, did you start with economics? Where I started start? with economics from uh, the variant book. I started studying like in my first year breaks. Like I was just coming okay. through the chapters, but it wasn't like for the exam point of view, it wasn't much productive, but it gives you an idea into what the subject is all about. And for non info okay. students, like it's all about the constant studying that. that. Right. See, having uh, regular uh, uh, studies is, uh, you know, important. That is uh, very, uh, you know, important. In fact, uh, you know, I share that 14 hours a week, uh, you know, enables you to reach MA Eco Entrance Peak. 
right so it's only about 2 hours a day of uh, you know regular uh, studying apart from the classes that we take so it's yes. only about those 2 hours it's only 14 hours a week uh, that you need to give uh, to these entrance examinations and uh, you know regularity is the key as you said uh, you need to yeah, be I regular that is that is only the thing that a student like students should strive for personally i would say right right awesome so another thing uh, which the students are asking is are the past uh, papers enough uh, did you do anything else other than the past uh, papers other than uh, the notes uh, that we gave out the notes the past papers they are actually like they they should that should be the base of any students preparation thing and like once they do that i think that should be more than enough like personally for me also that was the thing but otherwise a student can also prepare but it should be that the first priority should be past year papers and the theoretical the, uh, like their concept should be clear that's the thing correct correct that's great any other uh, questions that we're getting in yeah, so how which any particular topics that you focused on for this conference any particular uh, topics uh, that you focused on uh, for the concepts anything for uh, micro i would say consumer behavior and monopoly for macro like i skm and then open eco and then ads these are very important mathematics not particularly any such and not statistics but okay like uh, that elementary probability part the permutation combination and those things that's where i like I, it took me really a lot of time so yeah hmm. okay okay that is correct how did you manage your time uh, between the theory and the question so uh, you know that is a question which uh, you know many students ask me that sir hum log ke paas mein khali ek hi saal hai isme uh, theory ko kitna uh, time de and uh, you know questions ko kitna time de how do like, you uh, you know make a bifurcation between the two like i haven't really thought about it as such but still uh, like to give an answer i would say that uh, theory like the class lectures i think should su- be sufficient let's go through them properly once and then just mm-hmm. get away go to the questions like that's what i feel mm-hmm. i don't have any like in my uh, you know experience uh, you know if i were to answer this most of the theory is actually uh, done Uh, when you solve a question so what i personally uh, see that uh, you know when i solve a question uh, normally i do the theory for that in the question itself so if you solve each and every question automatically the theory is uh, done right so that is what i feel uh, with the preparation hmm. okay sir so- how did you feel that uh, you know Uh, there was a difference in the part a and the part b so part a is the mcq part and the part uh-huh. uh, you know b is the subjective part so mm-hmm. how did you uh, you know prepare for the first part and the second part uh, separately if you would uh, want to give to be very honest i didn't prepare it in that sense i just prepare for the topics the topics and then the questions first mm-hmm. objective then subjective subjective was like uh, if it is done then i can say that i am in a good position for this particular topic so that was that's how i felt about these things so yeah that's the thing for like i also didn't think like separately for objective and for subjective because at the end of the day everything is concepts only you know? okay <laughs> okay more questions are coming in um okay <clears throat> being from an english honors background yes. you would be you know alone in your you know batchmates who actually uh, thought about you know doing a masters in economics so uh, there uh, must be people around you telling ki english honors se aaj tak to kisi ne nahi kiya masters so you know how did you uh, you know deal with that a uh, kind of a question first and... of all i would then thankfully say that i had a good 
uh, social sphere that, who didn't ask such things such and rather they supported my decision. That's good. You know, normally, even an you know economics uh, you know, graduate has to face you know this kind of a question from you know many people ki aap ISI kaise jaoge? Like you know ISI is a sort of an you know impossible uh, thing which is uh, you know in the minds of uh, you know most of the people. So if uh, you did not have to face that, amazing. Um, how did you get your math? Uh, doubts uh, solved maths and uh, you know eco doubts uh, solved that is another question which okay for maths and eco doubts like maths doubts to uh, like, doubt uh, of peer group. like did you have a peer group did you have a, uh, did you have any uh, you know uh, friends actually uh, you know preparing uh, together with you no, for these entrances such. not as such not as such but the friends that i had like they once or twice though they will say ki it is difficult and so but not that it is not, not achievable or, or not doable rather i would say and for math doubts hmm. and eco doubts okay. like math doubts and eco doubts like always like as you said that you should try to do it twice and thrice and if it not then uh, see the videos or ask uh, you or my mom ma'am so that's how the uh, doubts is all so what i saw that uh you know most of the students actually tell me that after they watch uh, the videos uh, three to four uh, times most of the doubts automatically got uh, solved that is uh, uh, one two i always uh, saw you in the doubt uh, sessions so uh, you know that was a plus point where uh, Thank you know, you. number of the students was always uh, very low and uh, you know most of the people who actually came uh, for the doubts uh, they made it to isi right many 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 of you have actually uh, you know got into isi so yes uh, coming for the doubt uh, sessions is uh, very very important and that is how it happened um, anything else that anyone is asking um, sir is preparing to optimization probability and dm uh <clears throat> that's very topic specific okay so a student is asking um, uh, statistics is my weak point can you give any tips for uh, statistics especially since uh, you know you are uh, not from a mathematical you know background as such in your uh, you know uh, college uh, statistics uh, did you face a problem because you did not have a base is that so, like in, during my second years like i used to skim the books and oh, during the pandemic as well like i would try questions but it was mostly be like i haven't actually understood the concepts but like uh, from like uh, with the, with time and everything like it, i got the hang of it i would say but yeah, it's not to say that i'm very good in such things as well <laughs> no you have to be you're being a uh, modest <laughs> okay so let's uh, sum it up i you know personally feel that it is uh, you know the regularity and the perseverance that uh, you have uh, you know put in to get into isi coming from uh, you know english honors a uh, background you have actually opened a lot of uh, doors for uh, non you know economics uh, a background to think that isi is possible for them and that is amazing kabir okay uh, uh will you want to uh, sum up your entire isi journey in a sentence then what uh, will be the yes, sentence uh, you have actually put me in a spot i am not good at this <laughs> so what uh, you know comes in your mind uh, anything that i would say doubt self doubt and then doubt as in would i be able to do it but then still ki let's do this question and or read this topic or something like that that's how i would say okay honestly okay some uh, students are you know repeatedly asking about the interview experience so aapka interview experience uh, kaisa raha how uh, was it uh, uh, was it very uh, scary or 
will you want to share your interview scary as such the interview part is same as like the isi written exam as in the level of question the concepts will be uh, like it will be not uh, a, a simple question as such like that the stuff like that it will be an isi level question but mm-hmm. uh interview experience i would say ki they will uh, give time to actually solve a question they will give us a question and then they, we just have to solve them and the teachers are very friendly they are the helpful fans, they are very helpful yeah they are very helpful okay yeah okay okay thank you so much kabir you, for sir. your time and, and i wish you, you all the it. best for your time at isi <laughs> thank you sir and thank you sir thank you ma'am thank for you for the guidance and all the um thank you all thank you kabir be in uh, touch with us right we yes. always uh, you know want to be in a uh, uh, touch uh, with the students hopefully uh, you know we'll be meeting you very soon sure okay okay, okay sir.